I'm gonna tell you the number one thing that jujitsu practitioners hate. Now, if you're training in a room where there's a coach and there's students, very much of the time, there'll only be one coach to 30 or more students. And if that coach is spending his time as best he can, he's trying to cover as much of the interaction as possible and correct techniques, there's always gonna be someone who thinks and takes upon themselves to start teaching in absence of the coach. As the coach is over in the other corner of the room, some guy will start trying to instruct their partner and tell them how to do it. Don't do this. The reason you're a student and he's a coach is he knows what is missing from your technique. You simply do not know enough yet to be able to accurately redistribute information you've learned to another person. You're not the teacher, you're the student. Unless the, the teacher himself has assigned you as the assistant and you're like an upper brown bells or something like that who's learned enough that they can catch the details and things like that, you're really just gonna be like a bad copy machine, trying to copy a copy of a copy. And what the person you're teaching or trying to teach really gets out of that is just a watered down, low, like high noise, missing information version of the technique. And that's not gonna do them any favors because what you've done is just given them a bad rep. So as they practice the move with your bad instruction, they're gonna continue that and think that it's right until a coach hopefully comes over and corrects it. But you simply don't know what you don't know. And jujitsu, this is more true than almost any other uh, practice. Just leave it to the coach.